Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see some tutorial about LS Diana. So this tutorial is mainly focused on how you can use the shape measure tool available in LS Diana. So let's move on to the tutorial. So before moving into the tutorial, let's see some uh, you know options to change some interface settings. For that, just go to view options. There you can see toolbar settings. Just to choose text and icon and then you do the similar thing for the bottom side also so that you can add some text to the each toolbar and you can see like uh, what kind of toolbar you have and how it looks and what kind of names they have so that you can easily access each toolbar uh, settings if you haven't seen my previous tutorial about introduction to LS Diana please check the description I have provided the link so that you can get some idea about LS Diana and how you can change some settings in the interface and you can utilize them properly now let's move on to the tutorial so for that first choose the meshed measure tool here from there you can see there are like many options available inside the mesh toolbar so from the mesh toolbar you can see there is a shape measure tool option so let's choose that one from there you can see there is a box solid and then box shell so similarly there are like eight kinds of mesh, mesh tool options available so first we are going to see about box solid choose that one so when you choose that one you have you can see like a three kinds of options here the one is like you have to define the box the another one is you have to define the mesh size and you have to define the name which means when you are making multiple geometry you can make a name and you can define the part id also so that you can easily identify them in the keyword file so now let's make box for the 50 dimension like 50 millimeter or 50 centimeter it's based on yours so we are going to make a 3d box with the dimension of 50 millimeter in all the directions just to create ok so in that case you can only see the 2d uh, dimension for that you just change the settings to the isometric so now you can see we have a 3d box inside the uh, interface so if you just accept that one you can see you have created the mesh for the box so now we created almost like a square box which means like in all the direction we have a similar dimension you can also make rectangle or you can also make like a, a position changes all the things you can do i will teach like one by one so you can see here this box made from the origin because it start from the zero zero and you can change this position also so first let's see what is vx vy and vz so what they do it's kind of element division which we are using here so if you increase the vx which means in the x direction the number of divisions will be increased and if you do the same things for y and z also similar thing will happen so now let's do two things the one let's change the position and another one let's increase the number of mesh sizes so now we have the same box with uh, different mesh settings for example before we had 10 10 10 but now we increased number of mesh elements in the xyz direction so now you can see like the box is meshed with 20 elements which means 20 division along xyz so this kind of uh, things you can do and if you want to change the position also you can play with here for example now choose some position like front position so now you can see it's like y direction right so let's try to move this one in y and increase this one to 200 and let's see how it comes so it comes very closer so increase a little bit to 150 and do this one to 250 so now you can see if you move a little bit you can see we moved the geometry in the y direction and we created this same mesh box so you can do the similar thing instead of doing for y now we can do in the z direction also so do the same thing like a zero and change this one to 150 so we have to keep the box size is similar so 150 and then create so now you can see box and you can do the same thing for x also for example we have x in this direction so do the x 100 and this one is going to be 200 let's change 250 because otherwise it will stick together so 100 and let's change this to 150 
and create so let's see see we got like uh, different box settings in all the directions right so when you are changing the x minimum value you can also change the position in the space it will be really helpful for example if you are making multiple box inside your geometry it will be very helpful in order to make small small mesh, uh, changes in your geometry without making any 3d model before so that is a size instead of using the numbers you can also use size but in my case i found like a number is very easy and it's also very convenient because you might choose the square box or you can also make a rectangle let's do some you know rectangle instead of square so for that just change for example this one going to be 350 and move this one to around 250 and then let's make 400 and create and let's see it's still sticking together so increase a little bit to 300 and do this one to be like 500 so now you can see we also created the rectangle mesh so the box solid can be used in order to make either square mesh geometry or like a rectangle shape mesh geometry so it's based on like how you choose and how you make a mesh so now delete all the geometry so that we can uh, make one more and we can explain one more thing so now we are going to make like 50 50 and 50 so now i create this one and i got so you can see it's already defined like us we already made like five geometries it already say like it's a six part id right but you can change you can override this one and you can use the target name also for example you can say it's a square and just accept and you can do the one more thing just change this one to uh, we are going to change the position so let's 100 and then do this one for 100 also and 100 do this one for 150 but same shape but a different position change so now change this to square so we can do something like 250 and give enter so this is going to be rectangle if you accept done so you created two geometry which is square and rectangle so that one you can clearly see go to the model in the keyword file you can see there is a two part which is square and which is rectangle so when you are using the path id and path name and the target name and path id can be easily identified in the inside the keyword file because for example if this material is steel and this material is like aluminium you can give a name like up here and you can easily understand and you can define what is the section or what is the material id and what kind of you know adaptive function you are using for the simulation so these kind of things you can easily do when you are defining the part id that is why i said you have to define the part id when you are making the uh, like uh, any mesh geometries so now let's delete this geometry and see the shell option here so now let's change box value to box shell so here also you got the same exact values because you can see still it asks f minimum and f uh, like maximum which is like a point minimum point maximum and it also again asks what is the division you want to use in the x y z direction so compared to like a previous one what is the difference in this one means this is the shell and previous one is a solid shell means you will have only surface mesh and inside the part there is nothing so first create uh, the same dimension we can use and we can change so use the tab option or you can directly import 50 and then 50 so create so now you can see we got the mesh but inside there is no mesh so that one you can see through cut or deleting elements but this one also okay you can see like through wireframe also yeah so inside there is no mesh so we have only shell element mesh and in this case you can clearly understand the difference between the uh, previous one and this one and if you want to see some delete you can go to element uh, you know edit option choose delete and you can choose any area or any element 
let me choose some area I will delete so you can see inside there is no elements we have only shell element so this kind of thing you can do when you are making you know element uh, deletion option reject because we are not going to delete the whole one so I hope these two options very clear to you so now let's see about how you can use for in shell option so this option is little tricky because you have to remember which one is point 1 and which one is point 2 which one is point 3 and point 4 so I will show the geometry how the point start in this one so first one you have to define P1 so for example this one is going to be 0 and why you have to define your maximum value so for in my case I am defining 0 10 which means like 10 millimeter or 10 centimeter and the B2 is going to be 0 comma 0 comma 0 so that is the origin then the B3 is going to be 10 because I am going to make a square shape the another one is 0 then is set also 0 so the last one is going to be the fourth point which is 10 comma 10 so if you create this one you can see we got a clear 2d shell uh, geometry so if you change any points here it will affect your you know case for example if you give this one to 10 and if you give enter button you can see it go into like you know merging two points together which is p1 and p4 and it's become like a triangle so you have to be so careful how to choose the points and you can also increase the number of elements in the x direction as well as in the y direction so now you can see you got the shell element so using this one you can do few more things i will explain in few minutes how you can do that one so let's try to change the set value let's see whether is there something happening in this one when you are changing the set value so i am defining 20 for everything and create so what it happens the position in the set which means you are creating only 2d uh, shell but instead of creating in the one location which means is at zero you can adjust the set location and you can make a geometry anywhere which means you can play the set value and you can change where you want to make your 3d uh, not like 3d 2d shell geometry in the space so it will be good and uh, if you want to play inside the some you know like uh, there might be some case where you want to do that one so like that you can do as i said before what you can do after making this one so previously we saw how you you can make like box solid right but using this element i will explain how you can make a 3d from this 2d let's see about that one so for that let's delete any one geometry and i'm deleting the second one so let's see this one this is the top right so if we go to the element generation option so element gen option can help you to make a 3d geometry so we are going to make solid not shell so choose the solid option and here you can see there are many options available the one what i'm going to do i'm going to make a drag which means i'm going to increase some thickness which means it's going to be the uh, rectangular or square but in our case it's a square we made right so in the Z direction we can make this as a square or as a rectangle so I'm going to give first 10 so that we can make it as a rectangle so I'm going to increase the segments which means the number of elements in the Z direction if you create this one there is no changes happens but you can do properly by defining the direction so we are going to do the thickness increment in the reset direction so give one for reset then select the area or you can pick now you can create so when you are not selecting this one you can use control or shift in order to play around this one just to use uh, you know control in the keyboard or click here sometimes when you are playing with here or uh, here the selection segments you have to come here again change and do all the things instead of doing that one just unselect this one directly use the control button in your keyboard so it will be easy for you to access so now accept 
So see, when I selected the area, I properly selected. Do you think? No, I didn't properly select. So there is one uh, element is missed. That's why you just created only, uh, you know, all the elements except this one. So let's do delete of this one. And then instead of area selection, do the pick. So it will select the whole. But I think it's because of the different part, it select one by one. So I will choose pick and then part so that it can select the whole part instead of the element. Because here you can see when previously I picked it says by element. So change that one to the by part. So you can select that one. So now create and accept. Now you can see we created the square. So if you want to do this direction also you can do just do the same thing again go pick by part and select so this time I want to make little bit rectangle in the opposite direction so minus one and then it will change the direction and then I can increase as much as I want 25 the segments will be increased to same as the thickness accept so now you can see you can do like from the 2d you can create a 3d so when you are using this element this is so much you know helpful when you want to play with 2d as well as 3d at the same time that's why i said try to unclick this one all the time otherwise when you are you know trying to delete this one sometimes it's so difficult okay so this kind of things you can do when you are using the four node shell element option so we saw like uh, these three options now and it will take so much time if i explain this one also so i will make like uh, two parts so now we saw these three and i will explain this other five option in the, the second part so thank you for watching this tutorial and we will see in the next video and i will try to upload that one tomorrow and thank you once again see you in my next video